look at question 10. 10 a reads, given that E is a set of element that contains natural numbers less than 10, which is the universal set. So if you see the symbol E, that's universal set. Then A is a set that contains numbers which are even numbers. And B is a set that contains prime numbers. List set A complement intersection B. Then question B. In the following diagram, P, Q, R, S, T, U is a triangular prism such that P, Q equals Q, R. State the number of planes of symmetry of the prism. Okay, so that's what the question requires us to do. So question one has one mark. So just asking us to find this set. What do we need to do? What we need to do is list elements in E. So E, we have natural numbers. So what are natural numbers? So natural numbers, which are also known as counting numbers, are the positive integers that starts from 1. Those are natural numbers. So they are less than 10. So we need to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Because less than 10. So once you can get this one, then you are good to go. Then A, even numbers. What are even numbers? So even numbers, we are saying it's those numbers that are divisible by 2. Those are even numbers. So A will contain 2 into 2 is a 2. 2 into 4 is a 2. So 4 is an even number. Then 2 into 6 is 3. So 6 is an even number. Then 8 is a 4. 9 is not because there will be a remainder. Then when we say now B. B are prime numbers. So what are prime numbers? So these are numbers that are divisible by 1 and itself. 1 and itself only. So this excludes itself. Because it has got only two numbers that can go into that number. It's a 1 and the number itself. So out of these numbers which are in E, e what are the prime numbers? So the first one is we have a 2, then we have a 3, a 5, a 7. A 9 is not a prime number because um, there is another number that can go there into 9 which is uh, a 3 also can go into 9. Then we are looking for A complement in section B. So we need to find uh, A complement. So what are the elements that are found in E but not found in A? So that's A complement. So we are saying what are elements that are not found in A, but they are found in the universal set? So we have a 1, a 2 is found here, so we have a 3, we have 3, then we have a 5, then we have a 7, then we have a 9. Then after this now, we need to look for a complement intersection B. So what are the elements that are found in A complement at the same time found in B? So we start looking, we have a 2, there there is no 2, so it's not, but we have a 3. So a 3, a 1, and a 3 here, we have a 5, then we have a 5, we have a 7, then we have a 7. So we've got 3, 5, 7. So this is the set we are looking for. Three, five and seven then when you do this you're good to go you get that one mark so I just took a bit of time to explain then number two we need to state the number of planes of symmetry of this triangular prism so we're looking for a plane of symmetry that divides this 3d into two identical millers of halves so because when you look at this one the, the prism has an isolated triangle base, which is this base. And this base, because these two sides and these sides are equal. So it has that. 
So because of that, what you can do is you can draw a line of symmetry that will pass through Q like that. So this line and you like this, this line divide this into two equal halves. This half and this half. And this is the only line of symmetry which will be there. Someone will be tempted to say, oh, how about the horizontal plane halfway up, which is here? It's not. It's no longer maintaining this triangular prism. You see, destroying that. So, there is only one line of symmetry. So, state the number. So, one planes of symmetry. That's the answer. So it's one plane of symmetry. Just one plane of symmetry is the answer. So once you do this, you're good to go. You get these three marks. So thank you for joining me in this episode. Don't forget to download our companion apps. We've got one for getting 5 to 7, then 10 to 12. Join me as I look at question 11 in the next episode.